a in honor of President's Day today, I thought we would take a look at a shallow king. And the book of Esther starts off in chapter 1. This is what happened during the time of Xerxes, who ruled over 127 provinces stretching from India to Kush. That's Ethiopia, from India all the way to Ethiopia. At that time, King Xerxes reigned from his royal throne in the citadel of Susa. And in the third year of his reign, he gave a banquet for all his nobles and officials. For a full 180 days, he displayed the vast wealth of his kingdom and the splendor and glory of his majesty. Now, if you remember, the book of Esther now brings us to a time when many of the Jews had returned to Jerusalem, but some stayed in the east where they had been in exile uh, for a generation or two now. Uh, and now they're under this foreign king, Xerxes who ruled over the largest empire in the world at the time. He had tremendous power. He had tremendous wealth. But most of it was just for show. In his own family, he had no respect. And he was a pushover for any advisor who had his ear. He was kind of a joke. So how would God's people live under... Such a terrible, shallow king. Uh, how would they react to Xerxes' reign? Would they resist? Would they accommodate him? Would they despair? And then, where was God in all of this? <laughs> when godless rulers fill the seats of power, and then worldly ways seduce so many people in the culture, uh, with their allure, how is God still in control? How is God still the, the king? I'd say we, too, live in a very superficial age. And I would say that some or maybe many of our leaders exhibit more uh, vainglory than they do sound character or wisdom. But here in Esther, God shows that he is working often behind the scenes and often very subtly. But God is always working. And he's about to show in Esther that real splendor and glory are about far more than wealth. And he's going to show that in our age too. Now exposing shallow kings or leaders of any type, and certainly restoring peace and justice uh, takes a very long time. But listen, you can be assured that God is in control. And God will show himself to be the Lord of history. And he calls his people to walk faithfully and to wait for his deliverance. So let's close with a prayer. Uh, dear Lord, uh, may we not put our trust in mortal rulers, presidents or kings or whoever. Men cannot save. Only you can. So give us hope and help us to trust in you, the maker of heaven and earth. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, amen, guys. Remember, Wednesday's Ash Wednesday. We got... Uh, service at noon and one at 7 p.m. Hope to see you there or online.